Hello guys, welcome to Hell Bake. My name is Georgia and today we're going to make spiral shaped cookies with vanilla and chocolate. In a large bowl we put the flour, the sugar and the butter that should be at room temperature and we knead it until we get a crumb like texture. Add the vanilla and continue kneading until we have a smooth and homogeneous dough. Separate the dough into two equal pieces and to one of them we add the cocoa powder and knead well. Now let's cover the two pieces of dough with plastic wrap and take them to the fridge for a while, like 30 minutes, until they are a little harder and manageable. If they are too hard, knead to warm them. We roll out the dough to make a rectangle about 20 by 30 centimeters and it must have about 2 or 3 millimeters thick. We need to roll it over parchment paper so it doesn't stick as well as putting a little flour on the rolling pin. Then cover it with another parchment paper to finish off the rolling. Once it's all rolled out to the desirable thick, cut the edges to form the rectangle. We are going to do the same with the chocolate dough. There is no need to measure the chocolate dough, simply put the vanilla dough on top to use it as a guide and cut it the same size. If you see that the two portions of dough are too soft, you may take them a few minutes to the fridge, each one among its papers. Now we are going to start with the tricky part of the process, that is to assemble the cookies. Remove the paper on top of the two portions of dough and put the chocolate dough over the vanilla, being careful to align them correctly. Press gently to stick them together, remove the upper paper and begin to roll. We must roll it with enough strength so that there are no gaps, but not too much so that it doesn't deform. When we have it all rolled up, simply roll it a little on the table to have a better cylinder shape. Cut it in half and take it to the fridge for an hour or until it's very firm. We take it out of the fridge and with a sharp knife cut it into slices about half a centimeter and put them on the tray. Take them out to the preheated oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 or 20 minutes, or until they are slightly brown at the bottom. When we take them out, we let them cool on the tray. They must have this color below and they should be crisp. Store them in an airtight container where they can last up to a month or more. This is another of my grandma's wonderful recipes that goes perfect with a nice coffee. I hope you make them at home and enjoy them as much as I do. Until the next time!